Today, Kevin and I have three Cadbury chocolate bars to try for you. These were sent to us from Dr. J in the UK, so thank you, Dr. J. I have the original Cadbury dairy milk bar. And I have the new, both of these are new. These are Cadbury dark milk, original and roasted almond. Which sounds very interesting. Dude, but good. first, I have the Cadbury dairy milk. I'm sure we've had this before. However, we're gonna try a piece of it again uh, because we're gonna be trying the dark milk. So we wanna be able to really taste the difference. It says six chunks are 147 calories. It is milk chocolate, literally. Hmm. I expected it to say it's something more. Um, that's all it says, milk chocolate, here we go. And to come all the way from the UK, in one solid it's piece. perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So yeah, you gotta break it. Uh, yeah, I am. There you go. Oh, it's Cadbury chocolate. It's so smooth, mm -hmm. creamy. Mm -hmm. And delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a much. Um, softer chocolate mm -hmm. than what like Hershey's or Hershey's Kisses and stuff like that. Those are a harder, denser chocolate. Yes. These seem to be a smoother, softer chocolate. Just yes. all around really good chocolate. And ordinarily, you would want to, you wouldn't want to, to break it off and chew it like we did. Yeah, I, I mean, use it melted in the mouth. Yeah. To enjoy it, you want to put it on your tongue and just let it sit there and melt. Yeah, yeah so that's it, the best way to eat it. And it lasts a little longer too. So this is the Cadbury dark milk, both rich and creamy. This is the original flavor. Three chunks is 79 calories. Um, an abundance of rich cocoa is brought together with Cadbury creaminess. A whole new world of chocolate is created. Welcome to Cadbury dark milk. Sounds intriguing. Mm -hmm. So it is a little bit darker. Yes. Once again, perfect. Now the, the squares are a little bit bigger, so that makes sense. That, yes. No, maybe they're not. One, two, three, four, six. These look thicker though. There's a little bit, yeah, they're a little bit uh, bigger. Just a touch. Yeah, this this is, uh, the original is thicker. Mm-hmm. Again, very soft. But it is dark. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they didn't have a dark. I oh, know, that's awesome. Actually, I like that better than the original. Do you? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that bitterness for a dark. This tastes more like um, a hot cocoa kind of it, chocolate. It does. That's exactly what it does. Like a, like a chocolate milk. Not a chocolate milk like quick, Nestle quick, but more like a hot cocoa kind of flavor. That's you what could that use that like. to make hot cocoa. It would be good. You could, you could, could kill calories in it. <laughs> you would have a lot of calories, but you could mm, definitely um, melt that and use that for hot cocoa. Yeah. Now this one, the only, the only bad thing I have to say about this, it does leave a little bit of an aftertaste. It is. Kind it's kind of like a, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. But you know what? The aftertaste I get reminds me of if I had drank some hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Hot yeah. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. I like I like it quite a bit too. I still like the original better, better but I do like that hot chocolate flavor. Okay, this one is the dark milk with uh, hazelnut. Hazelnut. And is it just the same calories? Yeah, it's the same calories. So I, I meant to say that. That's funny. It's the same calories as uh, without yeah. any. Same, looks exactly the same. You can see the hazelnuts in the back. And let me get one from this side because I see hazelnuts there. I want to make sure we get a hazelnut. Yeah, it doesn't say anything beyond just hazelnut. Oh, roasted almond, I'm sorry. Roasted almond. Not no. hazelnuts, almond. Almond. I'm sorry. You know what though? I got so little of it. I know. And it really didn't matter anyway. You got a crunch in there, that was about it. It could have been a hazelnut, it could have been a macadamia nut. Yeah. It would it truly in the bite that I got, it wouldn't have made a difference what kind of nut was in it because you just couldn't tell. 
There wasn't and enough of it in there. There's almonds all through it. I just don't think the almonds have a strong enough flavor to overcome that, that dark milk flavor. No, so really they didn't need to put it in there at all. No, I mean, it does add a little texture to it. It adds a little bit of that crunchy nut texture. Mm -hmm. um, but both of these pretty much taste exactly the same. And then you get the dairy milk. I've changed my mind, though. After having that same dark chocolate again, I'm gonna say that's my favorite. The original, I though. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy the one with almonds because I would rather. Most things. This is unlike me. Uh, most things, I love the added texture, and I want the added texture of the nuts and stuff like this. For something this rich and creamy, it's almost an interference. And you, I would rather eat it without any interference and let it melt on my tongue than to have that, the interference of the almond, if no. you understand what I'm saying. I understand. So for me, I, I, this, this, I'm going to say this one's my favorite of the three, yeah. the original. It's mine. Yeah. That's, it's very, very it's good. Very good. It, once you get that hot cocoa flavor, uh, flavor in your mouth, it really does linger longer than the dairy milk and it, it's just a really nice flavor it mm. makes you think you have drank some hot cocoa yeah that one's kind of that one's kind of crumbly i mean it, it's delicious mm. the original good. still is good but out of the three if i were gonna buy one mm -hmm. i would buy this one yeah but you can't go wrong with any of them no no it's, any of them are good. it's all very good so dr j thank you again for sending these to us Fair i'm nice. gonna have a picture for you all at the end and thanks for watching